up guys? Um, so today's plan was to try to do a vlog with the lynx. <laughs> I've been scouting this area. This area tends to be like my favorite area in Alaska for the last two weeks in November. Um, it's when the, the salmon who were spawning up this river earlier in the summer, they finally die off and they start to trickle downstream. And that draws in lynx and fox and bald eagles, just hundreds of bald eagles. It's almost like a mini Hanes. And uh, so I'd been scouting this riverbank for the last few days and uh, fresh tracks every single morning of a lynx. So I told myself I'd get up early and get out here and uh, try to get set up and, and do a lynx vlog, right? How cool would that be to predict where the lynx was? So I get out here and I start walking right up this river and I come around this blind turn, literally right there. And there he is standing there looking at me, <laughs> almost like, what's up, man? Like, this is my riverbank. So immediately he like does a la like lazy turn and then just meanders off into the woods. And I'm standing there like, are you kidding me? Like if I would have been here five minutes earlier and got set up, he would have came around the bank, not even knowing I was there, and we could have got a sweet vlog. Um, I did manage to get a few pictures of him, um, and it was just snapshot real quick at the camera up, take some images, and it was right there on that bank behind me, and uh, I tried to track him, but it goes back into these woods, and, and he was long gone. But uh, kind of funny, kind of sucks, but uh, at least we saw a lynx, right? Anytime you see a lynx, it's a good day. But uh, I'm going to keep looking for eagles, maybe dig up a fox, um, show, you, show you guys just kind of how beautiful this area is. And if nothing else, we'll go back to the office. There's some things I've been working on that I would love to share with you guys, both wildlife photography and just nature photography in general. Did some really nice landscape stuff. We did some nice aurora stuff. So uh, hopefully you guys want to stick around and we can go over some of that. But just thought I would share <laughs> the heartbreaking story of my morning and this darn lynx. This is kind of what I was talking about. Every single morning I would come out here and I would see these, uh, these lynx tracks. It snowed last night, so I know these are, uh, these are brand new uh, lynx tracks. And uh, he's not massive, but he's uh, definitely, definitely a mature size. Um, I don't know. So right here, this is what it's all about. Look how gnarly that is. Yeah, so what I've noticed is like the eagles, the eagles get the lion's share out here. They swoop down and they pick them out of the, the river and uh, I noticed they eat the eyeballs first. They just decimate the eyeballs. It's hard to find any, any one of these salmon without uh, their eyeballs completely missing. But look how zombified these are. Ah, I love it. Absolutely love it. But kinda, kinda got my fill for walking around, you know. So we'll head back, see if there's any eagles on the way out. If not, we'll jump into the office and talk about some other stuff. Well, welcome back, guys. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that little snippet of us uh, down there by that river trying to vlog that lynx. Like I said, it's the most, that's the most challenging part for me about making these, uh, these vlogs for you guys is, uh, you know, how unpredictable animals are. But, uh, you know, still a great day. Still got to see the lynx. Hopefully you guys enjoyed some of the scenery and what we were looking at. But as promised, um, we're back here in the office, and um, there's some things I want to go over. You know, I've been uh, scarce on YouTube lately because I've really been trying to get my print shop up and running, I'm now offering prints, you know, so that's kind of what we got going on over here. It's just all the prints I've been working on, orders fulfilling, um, working on some mats, things like that. So that's where the majority of my focus has been. And I've also been doing a lot of landscape stuff. Um, and, and to enter into that, I want to talk about my favorite landscape lens. And I know it's going to be, be kind of weird, but it's bar none, 
the the 70 to 200 in any variation of the 70 to 200 i think this was like the original nikor 70 to 200 see if i can get it to focus probably not put it in front of my face there we go so that that's my go-to and, and the reasoning behind that is I'm a, I'm a big proponent of panoramic landscapes i love to you know shoot vertically and take three or four slices of whatever i'm trying to get and then you know that 70 is essentially like a 16 millimeter but the difference is is i can get that high resolution sliver and then when I merge it together in Photoshop, I have like a hundred megabyte file, which allows me to print large and, and landscapes look awesome when you print them large. So um, what, we, what I want to do is I kind of want to go over some of the landscape stuff I've been doing with you guys. And it's really been captivating me. Um, I'm not known for landscape. I'm not a giant landscape guy, but uh, I've been going out and doing it and just having a blast. So we'll kind of just talk through these images and I'll throw them up as we, we kind of talk about it. Uh, most recently, we did this little excursion out to an ice cave. A local ice cave um, south of Fairbanks. It's it's a pretty easy hike out to it, but it's just it's mind boggling how beautiful these ice caves are right there at the toe of these uh, these glaciers coming out of the eastern Alaska range. So there, here we are, you know, hiking out to the 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 ice cave. Essentially, went with a couple buddies. You know, we packed out um, packed out pretty heavily. We were trying to see the validity of doing some uh, ice climbing in there. So this was kind of more of just like an a, mini mini expedition for. Uh, for these shots right here and, it, and like i said i'm not known for being really good at uh at landscape but I, I had a good time i actually ended up taking the godox softbox with me and just hooking it up to a speed light and getting some pretty cool in the cave shots and uh and bringing your own light really allows you to exploit the blueness and and everything else you're getting coming off the glacier um the other morning you know i went out early and i, I nailed this this alpine glow sunrise that i was really stoked about um it really kind of captures in my opinion the essence of what a sunrise here in uh mid i guess early to mid winter kind of looks like almost daily um sunrise right now i want to say is like at 9 30 9 45 in the morning so it's not even like you got to get up stupid early to nail these but the big ones that i really want to talk about and the ones i'm most excited to share with you guys are um these eastern Alaska range uh, panos and, and detail shots I've got. Um, so looking south from them where I live is you see these this, this magnificent mountain range. And there's a couple mountains down there that really, uh, they just silhouette against the sunrise every morning on a clear day. And you got, you know, you got Mount Deborah, you got Mount Hess, Mount Hayes. So those big three peaks, they just scream up towards the heavens. And I, I really wanted to, uh, to capture those. And, uh, Kind of along the lines of Ansel Adams is there's really no better way to capture a, a dramatic mountain scene than this deep black and white, high contrasty black and white. So I went down there and uh, this was the pano. This was like one of my favorite shots I've ever taken. I've printed it huge. It, it takes up, you know, an entire wall out there in my house. And uh, I'm just stoked on it. You see Mount Deborah over there to the right of it. It's kind of, I guess, uh, engulfed in clouds, kind of socked in. And that really kind of speaks to the essence of that mountain, Mount Deborah. She was a, she's a monster. And then that one right there in the center is Mount Hess. Beautiful mountain. Just incredibly, incredibly beautiful. Um, what's crazy is they're both shy of 13,000 feet. And uh, that's not really common. You know, when you think of big, giant mountains, you think of, you know, 14ers in Colorado. Or you think of uh, over there in the Himalayas, those, you know, 20,000 plus peaks. But what's crazy about these peaks is, you know, the, it starts at about 400 feet MSL and then it screams up to, you know, 13,000 feet almost in one sheer face. So that's what makes these things so majestic and so incredible. Um, what is nice are these aerial shots I got of, uh, of Mount Deborah and Mount Hess and then the Gillum Glacier that comes off of those two. Um, really, really, really stoked on these pictures. I'm actually trying to do an entire piece on, um, on the, the little body of work that I got there. Um, that's really that's really all I I've been up to though. I know I haven't been uh, on YouTube very much, uh, and I'm, I'm trying to do better. But like I said, my main focus was getting these prints up, which will lead me into this side conversation. Is right now I'm doing a giveaway. It's running on my Instagram until Thanksgiving. I know it's a really short notice, but if you can go to that that latest moose picture that I posted, and all you have to do is comment anything, just a period. I don't really care. Just put your name in the drawing. I'm planning on doing a, a free fine art print giveaway shipped to your door, no cost to you at all. Um, and it's really just to celebrate the work we've been putting into getting the print shop up and running. So uh, if it's something you're interested, jump on my Instagram, find that last moose picture. It's kind of the profile one and just throw a comment on there. On Thanksgiving, I plan on doing like one of those random comment generators and uh, allowing me to just, you know, randomly pick somebody. And then uh, I'll DM you. And if you're okay with it, just give me the address you want it to. And I'll send you any fine art print you want, any size you want up to 24 by 36, just because that's the biggest tube that I have to, sh to ship those prints out. 
but uh, I'll try to try to get on here more and uh, share more of what we've been doing. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. Got a good laugh at my uh, failure this morning with that darn links. But uh, other than that, uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.